Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to a little more Ark Survival Evolved. If you haven't seen the ridiculously long episode that posted, well, whenever it posted for you relative to me, then you probably missed out on a few things, including, well, this gate for one, the conclusion of this fence over here for two, which, let me show you how janky this thing is. Yeah, there you go. I had to put this extra piece in here to stop, I hope, things from getting out because, yeah, at some point they were not all connected and I have issues with gate building, apparently, fence building, all that sort of thing. And then you probably need to be caught up on this girl over here, the hammer. Yeah, I got myself an Ankylosaurus. So if you haven't watched that last episode and you really want to see everything that happened, you know, maybe go back and check it out. There were... There were some interesting moments, including a brontosaurus that was walking around in my dinosaur pen, and me actually letting all the dinosaurs wander, and... Ooh, none of that ended well. None of it at all. In fact, you know what? You're kind of in the way with where your tail is. You... I, I can't move. You're too heavy. What did I put on you that you are so weighed down? That uh, must be me. <laughs> Oops. I guess I need to give you a little more weight so you can actually run around. Well, that was probably a waste. I, I suspect I won't actually be riding her all that frequently. Because, you know, these days, level 45, that opens up a whole host of options. And I thought I'd take care of just some kind of random stuff for today because, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and color up this hatchet. I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a moment in case you don't know. Oh... Big red blade, huh? I don't think I like that very much. Although, you know what? Sure, why not? We'll go with a red blade for that. And then let's grab the black, and we'll give it some black coloring here. Maybe something along those lines? Sure. That looks good. We can go with that. So the reason I have another hatchet on me is because I found this at the end of my obnoxiously long streaming session. And as you can see... Durability 50.8, not that exciting. Damage 105.7, not that exciting. But compared to the one I'm using, it's better. That durability, even though 50.8 doesn't really sound like a whole lot, I don't know, that's kind of a big deal to me. I'm, I'm rather happy with that. So let's go throw the other one, hmm, I guess over here? I don't know. Now, this, this box over here is where this one would go. Yeah, I think I made some room at some point and got rid of some things, and apparently I need to get rid of some more. I'm carrying around a bunch of junk because I was doing all sorts of things while I was streaming. I was taming, I was trying to tame, I was trying to kill things, I was trying not to die. There were lots of things going on such that I actually need to gather a bunch of hides, so that might be what I do in the interim. I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to work out just yet. But the one thing I did want to do today, for certain, aside from getting you caught up on my two-hour streaming session, which actually was a lot of fun, by the way. Don't feel like you missed out too much, because it had issues. So you missed out on issues. So if you are a fan of issues, well, then do feel like you missed out. But if you're not, then don't. But I did have to restart things multiple times, and Things didn't work out as well as they perhaps could have, but in the end, I think they worked out well enough. Not great, but not totally terrible. Kind of hoping maybe one of my raptors would have dropped an egg, but doesn't look like it. That's okay. Maybe one of the Dilos have? They're all over the place these days because, yeah, I had them wandering. I, I mentioned that I had them set on wandering, and they somehow got out. Some of them did. Not all of them. Some of the dinosaurs got out. It was really obnoxious. I should also mention, I only have one flyer now. F-36B is still around, but Harrier was killed by a Spinosaurus that I may or may not have baited over to this particular part of the universe. Oh, what's attacking me? Oh, there's a dodo that is angry I took an egg from... Well, my own dodos. Let's go find it. Actually, you know what? Where are you? Where is... Ah, there it is. I knew it would be over there. Mike, come with me, buddy. 
I have a job for you. Ooh, can he fit through there? Look at that. He just squeezed through there. I wasn't sure that was going to happen. All right, Dodo. I, I totally get you're just trying to... Oh, don't kill him, everyone. Nope, stop. That was close. And it dropped over. Good, perfect. Let's get you some Mijo Berries so I can add you to the crew. And then I can guide you in to the Dodo Pen. Oh, that's going to be painful. I still haven't even gotten around to what I said I'm going to do today. That's the best part about all this. Here, let's load this sucker up with Mijo Berries. I totally understand it's not going to need as many, but I can probably eat them. So here you go, have some Mijo Berries. Have some of those. I haven't even looked at... Oh, you're level 18, are you? What are you? Level 18 female. Perfect. Good. I like the sound of that. I am not going to have a name for you. So once you join up here, I'm just going to have something super generic. No idea what that'll be. Might be Dodo 18. I was not planning on getting a Dodo in this episode. Not at all. Lego, you are a little too close to that fence. So let's back you up a little bit. Actually, I need to move all the raptors now. Here, let's move you. You don't move very quickly because I'm apparently still carrying a bunch of stuff. Can I actually ride and move you now? Ah, good. Perfect. Yeah, I, I need to see what, I'll, what all I'm carrying. I'm not sure what all I have on me. Am I missing... Nope. Area right there. Oh, good. There's the Dodo. So Dodo 18 it is. Let's go call Dodo 18 over. And actually, you know what? Now that I cleared out the side, let's repark Lego here. I kind of had him like this before. There we go. That'll probably be in the way. And I'll just deal with that. Let's get the Dodo. Come on in, Dodo. Come on. Ah, they're so adorable. Especially when they get those wings out. As if they're trying to fly or something. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Follow me. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Alright. In we go. I suppose I could let the dodos wander around, but man, I'm a little worried about that. They have their own pen, so... It's alright. It's unnecessary. Just close the doors here. And run all the way down here. And Dodo 18 is going to follow. Wings are flapping. Looking adorable the whole time. You big, adorable, extinct creature, you. Extinct for a reason, no less. Come on. Now I need you to come inside without anyone else leaving. And I can't even... Here, can I, can I get around now? Come on. Come on inside. Where are you? I don't know where you are, Dodo. Oh, you're almost in. Keep going. Can I get out now? Hmm. Well, let's close the door. And we're going to set you on wandering. And, with any luck, I can actually jump over you guys and get out. Look at that. Got another dodo. So, the whole point of this episode... Wow, that was one really long sidebar. Attachments. Let's do a scope attachment. What do I need? Five stones. Luckily, I know where to find several hundred. So, I'll just grab ten of them. I'm not going to need ten, but... That way I can throw some additional ones in there, because why not? So, let's go back to weapons, attachments. We're going to do... Scope attachment. And let's go ahead and craft that sucker. Now, I should also mention, I didn't even really point this out when I was streaming in the last-ish episode-type thingy-majigger. I'm wearing my chitin chest piece here because I do have a blueprint for one. I found that a little while back, I vaguely recall. But I had not made one yet, or if I did, I hadn't actually worn it. So, as you can see, obviously I am wearing it now. It fits the uh, color scheme that I have come up with thus far. Now, I'm not sure how this thing works. How does this work? Do I just drop you on top of the rifle and you magically attach? I have no idea. I guess you do. 
Well, good to know. So let's... Oh, can I do something about that? I'm hoping I can. Let's see, what happens if I put you over there? No. Ah, dang it. I should have... I should have done that before I... Hmm, oh well. I can always make another one later. I should have painted my scope attachment before I put it on. Ah well, what can you do? I'm trying to figure out what in the world I'm carrying that has me so weighed down to. All the wood, that must be it. Okay, well let's drop some of that stuff off because I want to go play with the rifle and do at least something mildly amusing before this episode is over. Uh, Hilder... Uh, no, let's go with F-35B. That'll get me around quicker. Let's hop on her back here, and we're just going to fly over this way. Gonna go in this general direction, why not? Give that scope a whirl. Just kind of looking for anything. I guess a turtle will suffice. Yep, you are facing me. And I just fell. Ow. Yep, I saw that one coming. That's alright. I had to do it on camera at some point, right? And now you can just land. Because there's no need for you to be flying around up there. Let me go ahead and eat some of these so I don't have the rumbly grumbly stomach noises going on. Ah, oh, where did she go? Oh, she's over there. Good. Alright, turtle. Let's go ahead and lie down here. Do not seem to be able to zoom in anymore, but that's okay. I think that hit it. It seems to have taken a sudden turn toward me here. That's two in the face. I am just blowing through metal ingots as I do this. But I am curious how much damage it does, so, you know, science. That's three. That's four. There's the music. Keep chasing me. Not that I really need to run from a turtle, but, you know. I probably should have moved that shot. Sure is quite the reload time. I mean, it is not exactly a high-end rifle, but, you know, whatever. So it looks like it was about six shots that took care of it. Okay, I can work with that. That's better than six swings of the pike or anything like that. Play that much. Granted, it only takes apparently three to chop them down, but minor details. So there we go. This was quite the scattered episode, I think. But I am going to end it a little short right here, just because I have so many things to do for the next one that... It would just take way too long for me. In fact, I probably don't have the time to do it right now. Mentioned in the last episode, I may be doing some more streaming. Depending on when you're watching this today, tomorrow, that would be Thursday, Friday. If I do, it'll kind of be during the day. I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to have that opportunity. But just if I am, I should probably clarify, I've been doing my streaming on YouTube, not on Twitch. Although I do have a Twitch channel set up, that's not what I've been using, so just kind of an FYI there. But for right now, I'm going to call it an episode, I'm going to run in, drop this wee bit of keratin I picked up, and think about making some more metal and collecting some more metal and all that sort of stuff, because apparently I just blew through way too many ingots for it to make sense. So that's where I'm leaving it. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.